Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I am with eWrench.com. This video demonstrates how to install an Ubuntu LAMP server 10.04 LTS or Long Term Service into a VirtualBox virtual machine. LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and Perl H PHP. In order to follow this video, you should have 1. Installed VirtualBox, 2. Download Ubuntu Server 10.04. LTS and 3 creating an Ubuntu virtual machine. Check out the previous videos in this series on the Baba Rainer YouTube channel if you need to. The first step in doing an Ubuntu install is to make sure the VM is able to find your Ubuntu ISO file. The ISO file is a file that you need to actually install Ubuntu server into your virtual machine. Do this by clicking on Storage, IDE, and making sure it is pointed toward your Ubuntu server file. In this case, we're going to choose a virtual, in this case, Downloads Ubuntu, Ubuntu Server 10.04332 bit. Click on it, Open. Click OK. Once you've checked that your VM can find your ISO file, go ahead and start your VM. Start. VirtualBox starts. VirtualBox information window pops up. Just simply click OK. Choose the language that you're working with. In this case, this is English. Hit Enter. In this case, we are going to install Ubuntu Server. If you want a different option, you simply use the up and down arrows and then hit Enter. Again, you're going to be asked to choose a language for the installation process. Again, I will choose English by hitting Enter. Based on your language, you're probably located in one of these countries or regions. I'm going to choose the United States, but you can choose one of the other countries if you're from one of the other countries. You can try, try to have your keyboard layout detected by pressing a series of keys. The best option for this if you're from the United States is to click No. Ask for the origin of the keyboard. In this case, it says USA. We will simply click Enter. Keyboard layout, again, and choose the default option, which is USA. Click Enter. Configures the network with DHCP. Well, this is not the best option for a server. This is probably going to be the best option for a personal server that you're going to be running Moodle on. In this case, we're going to change the host name to Ubuntu LAMP LAMP in 01. Hit Tab to get to the Continue button. Hit Enter. Gets the time and checks your time zone. In this case, it's correct. America, New York. Click Enter. The installer can guide you through partitioning a disk using different standard schemes, or if you prefer, you do it manually. We're going to use the default option. Guided, use entire disk and set up LVM. Hit Enter. Select disk to partition. Since we only have one disk, we're just going to hit enter. It says before the logical volume manager or LVM can be configured, the current partitioning scheme has to be written to disk. So we will hit shift tab, click yes, and partition disk again. It says 21.2 gigabytes. We've, when we configure this machine, we set it up for 20 gigabytes. So that's close. Hit tab, continue, partition disks, and it's going to ask if we want to write the changes to disk. 
In this case, we will say yes, so we hit shift tab and enter. Now the installation from now on will proceed. You will not be asked to make any more cho choices until we get to the LAMP part where we're installing Linux, Apache, MySQL, and Perl HP. So we will fade in and out from here. Uh, if there are any questions that need to be answered, we will fade in. Don't really need to watch all this part of the installation. Now we're going to set up users. In this case, I'm simply going to type my first name, Mike, tab, continue. It's going to ask for a username for my account. I'm going to use it, Mike, tab, continue. It's going to ask for your password. Now make sure you type it in correctly, tab, continue, because it's going to ask for you to type it in correctly again. Encrypt your home directory. In this case, we're going to take the default option of no. Proxy information. Simply tab, continue. We're just going to use the default option. Now, you have a choice as far as uh, having updates installed. My recommendation is to have your install security updates automatically. Manage system with landscape is an option where you're going to have to pay some money to uh, Canonical to uh, actually uh, assist you with that. So choose install security updates automatically, hit enter. Here's where you set up your LAMP server. Use your up and down arrows to make your selections. In this case, I select LAMP server and then hit the space bar to make an X there. The other option I want to have is open SSH server so I can log in to this machine from the network. Once I've got those two choices made, tab and enter. Ask for a new password for the MySQL root user. In this case, I would suggest you use the same password that you use for your Ubuntu server. Tab, continue. Tab, continue. This asks us, since this is a new installation, and this is the only operating system on this computer, it should be safe to install the Grub bootloader to the master boot record of your first hard drive. In this case, we're going to use default option and click on yes. Once the installation is complete, you can hit the continue button, which will allow your virtual machine to restart, and you can log into it. Before we log in, let's go up to Devices, take our CD, DVD devices, and change it to Host Drive D, so that we don't restart back with the server ISO file. Once that's done, go ahead and log in with your username and your password. Once you have logged in, 
let's get a list of all the updates that's available. To do that, you use the command sudo, which basically makes you the root user. Up, oops, sorry, apt get up date. Ask for your password. Put it in. And it gets all your updates. Nothing's installed. It simply uh, tells your Ubuntu server where to find all the updates. Once you've Ubuntu server knows where to find all the updates, let's uh, upgrade Ubuntu server to the latest upgrades for all the software that are installed on it. To do that, we use the command sudo apt get upgrade. Now this will take some time. We will click yes. As you want to continue, we will click yes. Hit enter. And it will take some time in order to do this. We will wait for a while and then fade in and out once it's complete. Once your upgrade is complete, you can either restart your machine to see how it works, or you can shut it down. To restart your machine, you would use the command sudo reboot h now. To shut it down, we would simply use command sudo shut down H now. now. This is what we're going to do with this machine. In future videos we will show how to install a desktop and the Moodle server into the machine. Thank you.